No. Yeah. No. Why are we here again? We're back in the Epsilon bunker because I'm here to teach you something important. Oh, but I hate learning things. We're going to learn about Tremol's algorithm today. Okay, actually, that is kind of good because I did want to know how to do Tremol's algorithm, but it never really came up, like, naturally. Mm-hmm. It's the best way to solve a maze. What, what's another way to solve a maze? Oh, well, you could use the follow the wall method. Uh-huh. Uh, that only works for simple mazes, though, not complex mazes. What's the difference between a simple and a complex maze? Uh, a simple maze is a maze that has all of the walls connected. For instance, if lightning were to strike the wall, and the wall can conduct electricity, it would strike every wall in the maze. But a complex maze has some walls that aren't connected. So if like so you can have like you have like a floating T intersection. Yeah, like a cubicle in the middle of the maze. Yeah, yeah, you have you have like walls that aren't connected to anything except the ceiling. Exactly, exactly. So that would make it complex. And this particular maze in the Epsilon bunker, it actually is a complex maze. And Ooh. if you try and solve it by following a wall, you won't be able to solve it. In fact, we'll do that right now. Sure enough, we'll follow the right wall. I actually added this section of the maze because originally, despite being a complex maze, you could solve this one ah. just by following the wall. And that's true. You can do that. Sometimes you can solve a complex maze by following the wall. But not always. But not always. It's not guaranteed. And in this particular case, I have modified this maze to prove my point. We're still following the right wall, and we're not going to find the exit. And here we are, back to start. Ah, so following the wall clearly did not work. We've gone around the entire maze following the wall, and we did not solve it. Did not find the exit that the game wants us to find. Because this is a complex maze with walls that are floating in the center, and it needs to be solved with Tremol's algorithm. Uh, we start off by marking the beginning and end of every corridor every time we go through it, so... Are we using C4 for this? Yes, because in the Fallout New Vegas, C4 is pretty much the only thing you can drop and not have to go in your inventory every time. Congratulations, Mike. You've made math interesting to me by involving C4. <laughs> yes. You don't have to use C4 in real life. You could use sticks or marbles or anything to mark... Chalk. Yeah, chalk. Just scratching the wall in a specific way. Anything to let you know you've been in that hallway before. Yeah, you don't necessarily need 1,335 pounds of C4 in order to solve a maze. No, but we will be doing that today. That's the beginning of a corridor. Okay. And in this particular maze, the corridors are kind of short. So, start of a corridor. And here's another intersection. So, end of a corridor. Okay. And here we are at an intersection. Now, the first rule... So don't talk about Fight Club. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> the first rule is... Don't go into a corridor that has two marks on it. So keep that in your mind for now. That's rule one. Rule two, if it's marked, go back. We have never been here before. It's unmarked. So we go forward. Doesn't matter exactly which one we go towards. Let's go right. That yeah, will go right. Okay. So down the hallway. Oh, yeah, it's a dead end. So we'll go here. Two marks. We have entered this corridor, and we have exited this corridor, and now we're at this intersection. It's a marked intersection, so we gotta go back, but rule one says... If a sack is blocking your way, you must belay. If there's two marks, you don't go that way ever. Oh, yeah, that one. Sorry. So that invokes rule number three. Go low. If you're supposed to turn around... But you can't because there's two bricks of C4 in your way. Yes. Go to a hallway that has the least amount of marks. In this case, there is a single hallway with zero. We're going low. Beep boop. And end of the corridor. Another unmarked intersection. What do we do at unmarked intersections? Uh, keep going. Which way do you want to go? Left uh, or right? Well, I can already see that left is empty. So why don't we just put two on there right now? Right. We've entered this corridor. Dead end. We've exited this corridor. This intersection is marked, so go back. Can't go back. There's two. Then we'll go low. End of the corridor. And exit the corridor. Unmarked intersection. What do we do? I'm going to say go right. Yeah, we go forward in one of these directions. We're going to go right. Mark the entrance. Dead end again. Uh, why do I keep picking dead ends? This is why I failed land nav. <laughs> end of the corridor. Yeah, that's why. A marked intersection. What do we do? Go back. Okay, but 
You're standing on one of the bricks of C4. And there's yeah, no I'm one... hiding it. Yes. This is, this is There's two marks here, Zach. So what do we have to do? Uh, Go low. Go low. One, zero. We'll go zero. Ignore that man. Left or right? <laughs> uh, Left. We'll go this way. Let's go not by the guy. Yes. It's always fun when something blows up. Specifically, you. Leave us alone! Zack, murder this man while I solve the maze! Don't set off any of the C4, I need that! Okay, I'll try not to. Anyway, um, end of the corridor. <laughs> Left or right, Zack? Uh, let's go over the dead body. Alright. <laughs> Left or right here? Left. Alright. Left or right here? Left. Okay, we'll go left. Oh no, we're back at the entrance! And end of the corridor. Uh, it's marked. We'll just go back the way we came. Two. Two. Marked intersection. Can't go back. Go low. Go low. Hmm. We have a pretty much a four-way intersection, really. So we came from that way. This is an unmarked intersection. We can go right, straight, or left. Which way? I say left. Left? All right. Do, 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 do. And the end of the corridor. Well, uh, we've got a one, a zero, a one, and that's the way we came. Oh, go it's low. A, it's a marked intersection. It's a marked intersection, Zach. If it's marked, you got to go back. And, and there's only a one here. So we got to go back the way we came. Make sense to you? Yeah. Yep, so we're going to go back the way we came. There's one there, zero there, and two there. We're at a marked intersection, but we can't go back because there's two here. So we have to go low, so down we go. Maybe this path we haven't been down is the path to victory. Or maybe it's a dead end again. Or it's another dead end. Cool. So, end of the corridor. Two, a two, a two, a three, and a one. End of the corridor. It's marked, but can't go back, so go low. Oh, another unmarked intersection. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, right. We'll go right this time. Navigation test completed. Hooray! Please return the way you came, if you can remember. Uh, we don't need to remember, because to go back through the maze, all we have to do is follow every path marked by a single brick of C4. I was sad that the maze was over. <laughs> It's not necessarily the fastest way back. In fact, I think technically going that way would be faster. But uh, for, the, for the sake of uh, not getting lost on our way out, yeah, just follow every path marked with a single brick of C4. Or a, a marble. A single mark. A single mark. So there's one here, one here, one here, two, two, one, one, one. One. And there's the exit! Ta-da! We have solved the maze using Trey Mall's algorithm. Pretty, Hooray! Pretty handy, huh? Yeah, Trey Mall's algorithm is really convenient if you have something that you can actually use to mark the ground. A, a single can of spray paint would probably work just as well. Yeah, or just like a piece of chalk. So, you can like show this in your math class of how to use Trey Mall's algorithm if you want to be ostracized and be called a weirdo. Yes, but yeah, I think this is a good way to demonstrate it, yes. And there's a couple of assassins that have come here. Why don't we just, uh... Those guys weren't supposed to hey. be here. And now the maze is reset! You don't normally need to murder people to solve Tremel's algorithm. You know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, probably don't show this in school. <laughs> uh, unless your school is tolerant of psychopaths, I don't know. Then you go to a weird school. <laughs> If you like this kind of content, why not subscribe to our channel? Uh, yes, because there's no educational content besides this on the channel, so... I mean, there's me talking about guns, but again, I don't <laughs> think... Why did I say people should watch this in school?